And right now we're taking a look at Battlefield 1943, which is the, the new downloadable version of the game coming to consoles and PC. Right now I'm joined by Patrick Yu, who is a senior producer on the game, who's here to tell us about it. Patrick, what are we going to have a look at right here? So we're going to show you a new level here tonight. Uh, it's called Iwo Jima. So if you know Battlefield 1942, you know what level I'm talking about. So what we're looking here now is a new map that we haven't shown before. It's Iwo Jima. Uh, and if you've seen, you know, the, what we were shown before in Wake Island, uh, this is completely different flavor in terms of, you know, art direction and also in you know, the gameplay. So, you know, I'm gonna actually cheat here so you can show you the rest of the level. Uh, like this. Uh, so you can see, like, it's not as cartoony as it used to be. It used to be a really saturated colors and a really bright. This is a little bit darker, you know, a little bit desaturated. So it's more gritty and, you know, what people expect and wanted. So we listened to, to the feedback since last time and did some changes, basically. Um, what we also added now, since we didn't have last time, is the minimap. Uh, if, if, you know, if you're used to Battlefield, you, you take that for granted. Uh, but it's really a big feature for us. You so, uh, yeah, so you see, you know, we added lots of trenches here, you know, the trench war. And uh, also the whole jungle, you see the rundown all by itself uh, in the tank. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what we also added this is squads. Uh, because on PC versions of, of Battlefield, we appears to had you know pretty good squad system. And uh, in Bad Company One, it was yeah pretty basic and not very good actually. So now we implemented you know proper squads. So here's one of the tanks, um, and uh, you know I had the main gun and the coaxial gun that we added back now. We don't have any coaxial in Bad Company, uh, so as you can see here, you can run down all the trees, everything, everything in your way. You can just run through it. the same engine as Bad Company, right? Yeah, so it, this is built on a Frostbite engine, uh, the same engine as Bad Company was built on, and we've been done some you know, optimizations and bug fixing, so it's a lot better now, uh, but we don't have like huge changes. We concentrated mainly on making like a fun game and a really polished game. Uh, so, so when you look at this now, keep in mind that it's, now, it, it's, it's an arcade game, you know, really low price point. Uh, you know, downloadable only, and then just imagine what kind of other games can you download on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. So there's nothing like this out there. So there's no competition really, like a really deep shooter. So I mean, you can see here, it, it's a proper shooter. It's not, it's not casual. It's not stupid. You know, it's it's a deep shooter experience, but it's in a smaller scale basically. Uh, so all kind of vehicles are represented. Uh, there are all the tanks, uh, jeeps, uh, boats, planes. Uh, so specifically the planes, I can show you that. Because the BF2 with the jets wasn't really suited for you know dog fights and air, air combat, and now we're back to that. And uh, it's a delicate balance, you know, how the controls work. Because planes by nature are pretty complex, so uh, it requires some some training to be good at it. But once you know your know, ins and outs of flying, it's really, really cool. Uh, so we have, you know, bayonet, you have knives, you have the wrench, and specifically the Japanese scout has a uh, katana. So there we go. Oh man! Yeah. You just sneak up behind people to use that one. Yeah. But there's also another feature that we added now that we haven't had in any Battlefield game before. And that's the air raid bomber. Uh, you see here, actually, here it is. So what happens, uh, gameplay-wise, is that you can enter this bunker, and we have one of these on each level. And when you do that, you basically lock yourself into the bunker. So no one can kill you. Uh, and basically you radio in an airstrike, an air bomber squad, and you have limited controls over how they work, uh, how they fly, and you just pick one target and carpet it and kill everything in your way. Let's see if I can uh, manage to get into one of these. Yeah. 
So there's a, a timeout between bomb raids, so you can't just spam bombers. So you need to wait a bit before it. So now I'm spawning into the bomb, the bomber squadron. So I can, uh, uh, since I have so limited steering, I, I can basically only pick one spot and have one carpet to drop. I can change the view, so I see uh, where I'm aiming. So I'm gonna carpet bomb the beach. Bombs away. And while the bombers up in the air, there's a siren going on in, on the island, so people know that bombers are coming. So you see here, you see the destruction that, you know, this place has been bombed. So you actually see the houses are destroyed. Thanks a lot. Thank you.